the sacrament of baptism. At this time, I'm going to ask the parents and the godparents of the children who are to be baptized to meet me at the entrance to the church, and we'll begin in there. Why is this leaving? Have you ever, have you ever seen someone in <laughs> stand up now, stand up. Amen. Is about this. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
can. Give these children new birth in baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection, and join them to your holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Make them faithful disciples and witnesses to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lead them through holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Make their parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to these children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Keep their families always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we invoke the intercession of the saints and blessings on these children or for these children as we prepare to celebrate this sacrament. And so our response is pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Basil. Saint Patrick, Saint Therese of Lisieux, Saint Alphonsus the Glory, Saint Angela Marici, Saint Benedict, Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, Saint William. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Pray for us. We pray for these children, asking the Lord to free them from sin, as we say, Almighty and ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free these children from original sin, to make them the temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit to be dwell in them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So this is the place. mga singer, mga <laughs> And so brothers and sisters, let us pray that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on these children of water and the Holy Spirit. And let us raise our minds to him with one heart pray that he may be pleased to pour out his grace from this spot upon these children. Who are about to be baptized. So we ask the Lord to receive his blessing upon this water as we pray. O God, who by invisible power accomplish the wondrous effect of your sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water for your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that the mystery of one and the same element of water come an end to vice and the beginning to virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass right shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people, set free from slavery to Pharaoh, would prefigure the people of the 
baptized. O oh God, whose Son, baptized by God in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood. And after his resurrection, the man and his disciples go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image, and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this heart, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Receive the love of God, new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring them up in the faith of the church, so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in them day by day. And so, if your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin, and profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the Church. This is the faith in which these children are about to be baptized. And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? Do you renounce the Lord of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Yes, yes. Yeah, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Church, which we all profess with you here today. <laughs> William, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Baptism in the faith of the church, which we all profess with you. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son. Amen. Picture, picture. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin. And has given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. He now awaits you with the of salvation, so that joining to his people, you may remain members of Christ, priest, prophet, and king unto eternal life. Amen.
Gloria and now then, you have become a new creation in the flow of yourselves in Christ. May these white garments that you wear be a sign to you of your Christian dignity. For your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into eternal life. And these were handmade by parishioners as a little keepsake for the baptism today. So we can do those as well. And I'm going to invite the daughter to come and to light the baptism of the pastor candle. present to please share at this time. These children were born in the baptism are now the children of God, for so indeed they are. Through confirmation they will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, they will share at the table of his sacrifice, and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. So now, in their name, and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters which we have all received, let us pray together 